Hello, everyone. Welcome to Preface Nomad Junior. My name is Amanda, and today we will be teaching you how to translate languages on Scratch. So this project begins with an animation, and I will introduce itself. It will ask you what you want to translate. You can type it in. And then you will need to choose a language to translate it by pressing drag. Once you have selected your language, simply press space, and the R will give you the translation. To upload my flags, first from my computer, I downloaded them from Flat Icon, and I will upload them as one sprite with many costumes. So here, I will choose to paint a new sprite and upload my flags as costumes. Then we can delete the sprite we don't need. Now notice how many of my flags are already named as languages, like how France's flag says French and Italy's flag says Italian. Now I'm going to add my translator. So my translator is going to be an owl. Because owls are smart, so I'm going to find my owl and add it. Now I have a translator and the flags, so I will need to resize them. So my owl is going to go to the left and have a size of one hundred and thirty, and my flags will have a size of eighty. Finally, I'm going to add my banner. It is actually pretty simple. All I have to do is paint a new sprite and make a rectangle. So my banner is going to be a mix of green and yellow, and it's going to be going to say "Our Translator School." Nice. Let's start coding now. Before we begin, let's make sure we have renamed our sprites as well as our projects. We have already renamed the title "Translation App." Now, let's start with the easiest one, which is the banner. So the banner appears at the top of the screen and glides down, and we can do this by getting a green flag, then calling the banner to go zero two hundred, then glide one dot five seconds down to zero one two two. Let's work on the R now before translating. The owl needs to know what words it needs to translate. So, in the beginning, we will set the position of our owl, then make it wait for the banner to come down. The owl will then introduce itself by saying, "Hello, I'm owl. I know many languages." Before asking, what would you like me to translate using the ask block? Using the ask block, we will save the answer in a variable called text to translate. So let's make this variable. Then we can set it using the answer block.
R helps us translate. In order to make that happen, we are going to use a Scratch extension called Translate. Let's add this extension now. So we need the R to teach us how to use this app. So it will need to say, press the flag to select your language, then press space to translate. what the owl said, we need to choose the languages by clicking the flag. So we need to add the codes that will change costumes when the flags are clicked. Next, do you remember how to make the translation happen? We have to press the space key. So when the space key is pressed, we need to save the language. Do you remember the costume names? They are already the names of these languages. So we can simply make a new variable called translation language. Then we can use the block costume names in the to save the language we want to translate to. Finally, we are going to broadcast a message to our all called do translation to make our translation happen. So when our all receives our broadcast message, it's going to translate our text into our chosen language. So first we need to go to the translation box and get this first block here that says Translate hello. Now we aren't translating hello, right? We are translating whatever we typed in when the R first asked us what to translate. Remember where we saved our answer? That's right. We saved it in the variable, text to translate. So we will drag this variable out to replace hello. Hmm, I'm pretty sure we aren't translating to Estonian. We need to translate it into the language we want. So where did we save that? That's right. We saved it in the translation language variable. So let's just drag that in to replace the original language instead. Now, we need to put all this into a save block so that all can say it's translation. So, a brief recap on what we learned today. Today, we explored another Scratch extension called Translate, which helps us translate texts to languages we want. We made this translation app more user-friendly by using variables. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy the project. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get our daily content. I'm Amanda, and this is Preface Nomad Jr.